Okay, music fans, welcome back again to the Real Music Observer. My name is Dave, observing real music in real time for real people, just like you right there and me right here. Arnell, where is Arnell Pineda? Well, a big New Year's Eve concert, I believe, in Manila as he wraps up his uh, promo album tour. He's got two dates left, I believe. He's got... Uh, New Year's Eve, and then I think he's got another one in February. Uh, certainly not burning the vocal cords out, not uh, over scheduling or overbooking, and uh, it's probably a good idea for Arnell to rest up because my personal view is I think he's going to have one more go round with Journey in 2018, a tour that looks like it will get booked with Def Leppard, but we're still waiting for the details. We're waiting for Irv Azoff to. Uh, you know, make the deal. Uh, and what's disappointing, I think, for Arnell fans is I don't think Arnell is going to land in either camp after this is over. Uh, it's a higher likelihood that maybe John Kane might ask him to come over to Team Kane, but I have a hunch that um, Arnell is signaling that I think he wants to go back to a simpler life a time where he wasn't under the spotlight, where things weren't confusing, where going to the White House wasn't something that would get him in trouble. Not that he'd be going to the White House in the old days, but you know, uh, I think he thinks with his heart and uh, he seems to be a really good guy. Uh, people really like Arnell Pineda. I think they like Arnell uh, in a way, uh, in some ways, like uh, fans like Steve Perry. Uh, they like Arnell as a person. Uh, and I don't think Arnell lands with Team Sean because obviously uh, Neil's got Dean, and I think Dean is a closer facsimile to Steve Perry than Arnell is these days. In fact, I think if you were to rate who was closer to Perry, in my book, it goes Steve Aw Jerry was the closest. And these are vocalists, by the way, who stayed with the journey not you know like Jeremy or anybody who is a in and out like Kevin Shalfant or anybody like that um, in my book it's a uh, Jerry Castronovo and then Arnell uh, so I mean I like Arnell I think he he can carry the tune uh, but at times I just think he deviates so much from that Perry vocal sound uh, whereas I think Dean actually does a better job of imitating that sound. But that doesn't mean Arnell can't sing. He's a great singer. I think when Arnell, for instance, appeared with the band Chicago and I think did a couple of songs with them, uh, he just knocked it out of the park. There are moments where you watch Arnell and you go, man, he can imitate this guy or that guy almost better than what he was doing uh, when he was singing in Journey. So. That's the way I, I look at things. Unfortunately, I think Arnell is sort of the odd man out here. He gets left out of either camp. Again, there is a chance that maybe John Kane might recruit him to sing with whatever camp that is. And if Kane does own the trademark and the name, he can cling to the journey without Neil Sean in it and maybe recruit Miles. And then that's it. It's a one-man swap out. Uh, who plays drums? Probably Steve Smith or uh, maybe John Kane's brother Muggs plays drums, but it could it could work out that way. My guess or my hunch is that Arnell goes back to the Philippines. He's had his 15 minutes of fame. He's happy. He's got a better life now. He's made some money, and he can always just do these little promo tours as the former lead vocalist of Journey and still bring in lots of folks and lots of revenue and uh, have a good life. I mean, he's not an old guy, but he is, you know, 50 now and maybe he just wants to slow down. I wouldn't blame him. This drama stuff, eh, who wants drama, right? <laughs> not me. <laughs> uh, anyway, I will talk to you soon. It's Dave. It's the Real Music Observer and we'll be back with more real music in real time for real people. Just like you and just like me. We'll see you then.